first stage of the process is to produce an exact replica or pattern of the required casting. This is made by injecting wax into a dye. The wax pattern is then assembled onto a wax feeder system. Each assembly or tree may have just one large pattern or many small patterns. The wax assembly is then dipped into high-grade ceramic slurry by a large robot. This is the most important coating as the metal will lie next to it when poured into the mold. Whilst the thin slurry coating is still wet, larger particles of ceramic are dropped onto the wet surface to build a thicker coat. After drying, this coating process or investment process is repeated several times, building a shell mold thickness appropriate to the size of casting and metal to be cast. After the finished shell mold is dried, the wax is melted out in a steam autoclave, hence the name Lost Wax Process. The molds are fired at over 1000 degrees centigrade to remove any remaining wax and to strengthen the mold. Molten metal is then poured into the molds whilst they are still hot, enabling the metal to run into thin wall sections. After cooling, the ceramic shell mold is broken away and each casting is cut away from the feeder system. The castings are carefully fettled, blasted and heat treated. A setting operation may also be required. Material testing, x-ray, dye penetrant or machining can then be carried out if required.